The Science in Society Journalism Awards are awards created by the American National Association of Science Writers (NASW) to honor and encourage outstanding investigative and interpretive reporting about the sciences and their impact for good and ill. Each year the NASW recognizes work in these categories, books, periodicals newspaper and magazine, and electronic media radio, television, and the Internet. Each winner receives $2,500. The first award was given in 1972. The awards recognize not only reporting about science, but also thoughtful work that probes the ethical problems and social effects of science. The awards are considered especially prestigious because they are judged by accomplished peers. Starting in 2009 the award categories were changed. The book category will remain unchanged, while the other categories will morph into "...commentary and opinion", "...science reporting", and "...local science reporting". Except for the book category, the awards will be platform independent, which means that they may be magazine, radio, TV, or web based. Topic past recipients 2017 2017 Science in Society Awards winners announced 2016 2016 Science in Society Journalism Award winners announced 2015 book Judy Foreman for her book A Nation in Pain Healing Our Biggest Health Problem Oxford University Press Science Reporting Why Nothing Works by Eric Vance published in Discover Longform Big Oil Bad Air by Lisa a song, David Haysmeyer, Jim Morris, Greg Gilderman, and more than a dozen other colleagues, published in Inside Climate News Local or Regional Science Reporting, Battle of the Ash Borer by Matthew Miller, published in Lansing State Journal Commentary or Opinion, no award was given 2014 book, Sherry Fink for her book Five Days at Memorial, Life and Death in a Storm-Ravaged Hospital Crown Publishing Group Science Reporting, A Race to Save Save the Orange by Altering Its DNA, by Amy Harmon, published in the New York Times Longform, Uprising, The Environmental Scandal That's Happening Right Beneath Your Feet, by Phil McKenna, published in Matter Local or Regional Science Reporting, The Tree Coroners, by Callie Carswell, published in High Country News Commentary or Opinion, 23 and Me is Terrifying, But Not for the Reasons the FDA Thinks, by Charles Seif, published in Scientific American Americans Saw Forum 2013 book, David Quammen for his book Spillover, Animal Infections and the Next Human Pandemic w. W. Norton Science Reporting, Witness to an Antarctic Meltdown by freelancer Douglas Fox, published in Scientific American Longform, Playing with Fire by Patricia Callahan, Sam Rowe and Michael Hawthorne, published in the Chicago Tribune Local or Regional Science Reporting, The Color of Bunny by freelancer Hilary Rosner, published in High Country News Commentary or Opinion, The Real Scandal by freelancer Christy Ashwanden, posted on the blog The Last Word on Nothing 2012 book, Seth Manukin for his book Panic Virus, A True Story of Medicine, Science, and Fear Simon & Schuster Science Reporting, Poisoned Places, by reporters from the Center for Public Integrity Jim Morris, Chris Hamby, Ronnie Green, Elizabeth Lucas, Emma Schwartz and NPR Elizabeth Chagrin, Howard Burks, Sandra Bartlett, John Poole, Robert Benincasa Local or Regional Science Reporting, Perilous Passages, by Emmeline Osland, Mary Ellen Hannibal, and Callie Carswell, published in High Country News Commentary or Opinion, Banned Chimp Testing, by the Scientific American Board of Editors, published in Scientific American 2011 book, Marin McKenna for her book Superbug, The Fatal Menace of MRSA Free Press Science Reporting, Katie Butler for her New York Times Magazine article, My Father's Broken Heart Local or Regional Science Reporting, Barbara Moran for her Boston Globe Magazine article, Power Politics Commentary or Opinion, Charles Homan 
Simmons, for his Columbia Journalism Review article, Hot Air 2010 book, Susan Cohen and Christine Cosgrove for Normal at Any Cost, Tall Girls, Short Boys, and the Medical Industry's Quest to Manipulate Height Tarcher, Penguin, Science Reporting, Martha Mendoza and Margie Mason won for their Associated Press series When Drugs Stop Working Science Reporting, Charles Duhigg won for his New York Times series Toxic Waters Local or Regional Science Reporting, J. Madeline Nash for her article, Bring in the Cows, which appeared in High Country News There was not an award in the commentary or opinion category in 2010.2009 book, Allison Bass for her book Side Effects, A Prosecutor, A Whistleblower, and a best-selling antidepressant on trial science reporting, Jason Felch and Maura Dolan for their series in the Los Angeles Times, Genes as Evidence Local or Regional Science Reporting, Michael J. Barons and Ken Armstrong for their series in the Seattle Times, "'Culture of Resistance". Commentary, Pamela Ronald for, "'The New Organic", which appeared on Boston.com 2008. Book, Liza Mundy for her book Everything Conceivable, How Assisted Reproduction is Changing Men and Women and the World Knopf. Magazine, Beth Whitehouse for her Newsday series, The Match. Broadcast, Stephen Lyons and Llewellyn M. Smith for their docudrama, Forgotten Genius, which appeared on PBS's Nova Television series.2007. Book, Nicholas Wade for Before the Dawn, Recovering the Lost History of Our Ancestors Penguin Books Broadcast, David Sington for his documentary, "'Dimming the Sun'", which appeared on PBS's Nova Television series. Newspaper, Kenneth Weiss and Usha Lee McFarling for their Los Angeles Times series, "'Altered Oceans'", 2005 Book, Robin Marantz Hennig for Pandora's Baby, How the First Test Tube Babies Sparked the Reproductive Revolution Broadcast, Craig Duff and Andrew Revkin for Arctic Rush a New York Times, Discovery Channel, CBC Documentary Magazine, Lori Garrett for, "...The Next Pandemic", Foreign Affairs July, August 2005 Newspaper, Jim Erickson a Change in the Air", Rocky Mountain News December 13, 2005 Webb, Daniel Grossman Fantastic Forests, The Balance Between Nature and People of Madagascar, WBUR 2004 Book, Stephen S. Hall Merchants of Immortality, Chasing the Dream of Human Life Extension Magazine, Robin Marantz Hennig The Quest to Forget the New York Times Magazine Newspaper, Alexandra Witz and Tom Siegfried, "'Science's Big Unknown' series The Dallas Morning News Broadcast, Noel Schwerin Bloodlines, Technology Hits Home Backbone Media 2003 Book, Steve Olson Mapping Human History Magazine, Kyla Dunn, Cloning Trevor. The Atlantic Monthly Newspaper, Dan Fagan Tattered Hopes Series Newsday Radio, Joe Palka Stem Cells Series National Public Radio NPR Television, John Rubin Clone MSNBC National Geographic Explorer Web, Margaret A. Woodbury A Doctor's Right to Choose Salon.com 2002 Book, John Cohen Shots in the Dark, The Wayward Search for an AIDS Vaccine Magazine, Shannon Brownlee, The Big Fat Question Self Magazine Magazine, Charles W. Schmidt e -junk Explosion. Environmental Health Perspectives Newspaper, Rick Weiss Building a New Child, Embryo Screening Creates a Tool Against Disease — and Ethical Questions the Washington Post Radio, William S. Hammock Engineering and Life Will AM 580 and Illinois Public Radio Television, Richard Hutton Evolution Nova, WGBH-TV 
Webb, Alan Boyle, Genetic Genealogy, MSNBC 2001. Book, David Dobbs, The Great Gulf. Magazine, Gary Taubes, The Soft Science of Dietary Fat. Science. Newspaper, Sabin Russell, Reynolds Holding, Elizabeth Fernandez, Breakdowns, Mar Flu Shot Program. Waiting for Shots. San Francisco Chronicle. Television, Betsy Arledge, Julia Court, Robert Krulwich, Nova, Cracking the Code of Life, Nova, WGBH TV. Webb, David Tenenbaum, Energy Crisis 3, The Y Files.